Hey cute people. Yeah, it's me, it's me, it's me. I've been busy. Yeah, man, I have two jobs. <laughs> two jobs. And um, it's not so easy for me to get here, but I tried to make an effort today. Today is Sunday, my wash day. So I figured why not sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys for a little while. And also shock you. Look. I cut off all 10 of my nails. Remember I mentioned to you, one breaks, they have to go. This one broke first. I don't know where the nail went to. This one broke second. It had to go. But I was going to cut them anyway because if you saw the previous video, you know they were quite long and getting in my way. So I said it's time for them to go. So I'm going to start all over again. And I cut my nails last week, Sunday, which was Mother's Day. So here's the little growth I do have. And we'll watch and see how long it takes for me to get back to the length I was previous. And yeah, I'm going to cut them as soon as they get that long anyway. But here's my concoction. Mm -hmm. Try it. It does work. But you know, um... Like I said, it's my wash day, and I really don't want to wash my hair, but I'm going to get on it and get it done because the last two weeks, I've seen my hair really take to the products I'm using, which are the Shea Moisture products. I'm telling you, Shea Moisture and Orient Handmade, I have to say right now, are amongst my two favorite product lines. It seems like no matter what it is that I've tried, I really, really like doesn't mean that I necessarily have to continue to use everything that I've tried because some things I won't buy again because I feel everything's not necessary. But I like the products that I've been using and this is what I'm going to do today because what I had been doing previous, I had been taking my hair out. As you can see, I have really coarse hair. Okay, people talk about 4A, 4C. I think I have 4EFG. But my hair is really, really coarse. And it gets so tangled. Because if you know anything about hair, especially my type of hair, it's the frailest type out. It seems like it would be the hardest because it's so thick and, you know, um, coarse. But this hair is so frail because it breaks so easily and what I usually do I keep my hair in twist most of the time maybe once a week I wear my hair out but most of the time my hair is up in twist y'all for real something like this something similar if I'm going out I may put a hat on my head no well I will put a hat on my head if I don't take my hair out but um yeah so I noticed that if I do not hold my hair the day before I wash it, it gets really, really tangled, really, really tangled. But last week when I washed my hair, I didn't have a lot of breakage. So I figured, let me just keep on this routine, keep my hair up because I can retain length, as you can see here, the back of my hair, the side of my hair, I can retain some length, but I don't retain much in the front because... I cut it. Yeah. And um it was down under my chin at one point, so you can see how much I cut because I don't know, I just don't do good by my hair, but I need to do better. And that's the deal. But like I said, this is just a chit chat on my wash day. So what I'm going to do, I would have done it last night, and that's retwist my hair so that I can get everything to lie flat and not, you know, be all frizzy and then get tangled when I wash it because that's what happens. It gets tangled and then I have to do whatever to untangle it and it's just, it just gets on my nerves. So I'm trying to avoid that today. And it'll just take me a little while. It won't take me long at all to untangle my hair. Sometimes I just wish I would get start, started earlier than I do, but I feel as long as I get it done, that's half my battle, right? And here we go, because I know I'll probably do my hair on my wash day, wash it at least six or seven times consecutively, not a problem. Then I'll skip one week, and that's not good for my hair. For my hair, that's not good. So, 
And all I'm going to do is just use this tea tree oil that I have here. I got this from a beauty supply store, Beauty 35 in Manhattan on 35th and 8th Avenue. And they had it for $1.99. I bought quite a few of the oils. I used up one. But I have to say, um, factory process is <laughs> pretty good. It's not too bad. I can't say I would buy it again. But if I was in a beauty supply store and I needed to get something in a hurry, yeah, I, I'd buy it again. Yeah, I would. So I'm just going to use a little bit. I'm not gonna wet my hair or anything. I'm just gonna retwist it so that way it won't be so tangled with itself when I wet it. It'll be tangled when I have to. I'm not gonna detangle today because, like I said, it's so much later than I want it to be. Maybe when I'm conditioning, I'll do a little detangling. But right now, no, I'm not. This is the Lazy Girl Sunday wash day, which for me is like every Sunday. <laughs> but what I wanted to mention to you guys, as you can see from the title, I said, I'm busy. Oh, that's what I'm going to name it so far. Because I am busy. And I just can't seem to find the time to get here. I figure if I find the time today to do my hair, I can also find the time to sit down and talk to you guys. Because it's been a while, right? But you know, I say it all the time and I'm going to say it again. I appreciate your support. Yes, I do. And I just want to say this too. On top of my being busy, which I don't mind because I have a goal. And I just want to make a suggestion to anyone. Especially if you're someone who wants to save some money. Get a second job. Yeah. Get a second job. Use that second job just for savings. If this is a second job and you're just trying to save a couple of dollars, use that second job only to save. When you save whatever your goal is, whether it's $5,000 or $10,000, then leave. But that money is for savings. Right? Don't get another job and shop and spend your money up. You don't need it for bills anyway. Save it. Sometimes it's worth um, being so busy. Other times it may not be. But I find if you have a goal and you want to, especially a financial goal, and it's more than just having to pay bills because you may not be struggling in that way, but you just can't save any money. Second job. Yeah. So like I said, my hair isn't too tangled because I had it in twists all week. So I'm just putting a little tea tree oil in it, which tea tree is really good for dandruff, itchy scalp. So you don't need a lot of this oil because it's very thick. And I like it. I put a little bit of eucalyptus oil, eucalyptus oil in it. And I love how it smells. Not a lot, because you know eucalyptus can be very, very strong. But it smells so good. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. So this will help me a great deal so that my hair won't tangle so much because once water hits it and those little layers of my hair start rising and opening up my hair gets so tangled and I really just want to keep my hair as healthy as I can so that's it and it's hard working two jobs, you know, whether it's part-time or two full-time jobs, however you decide to do it. But like I mentioned, you just have to realize what your goal is. What's your goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Is it just to have a little cushion? Because it's great to have a cushion. There's nothing like an emergency coming up. And especially if it's a small emergency, like maybe, I don't know, maybe two, three hundred dollars and you don't have the money. And you can't get it from someone you know. 
but if you have a little cushion that when that emergency comes up, you can go get your stash. You know, a lot of us in our families, we don't have a lot of people who, or family members, I should say, who you can always turn to and everybody borrows money from everybody. And there's always, in most families that I know, there's always that one person who has the majority of the money. You know what's that? There's always that one family member who everybody has to go to because that one family member just happens to either A, have the best credit, know how to save money, or he just has it like that for whatever reason. So why don't you be one of those family members that has it like that too? And you can help your family member because it's nothing like being able to help somebody, I mean, really help somebody, especially someone who's trying to help themselves. Ain't nothing like it. It's a great feeling to know you can help people. So I'm busy, (laughs) y'all. Like I said, to me, it's worth it. Because I'm just trying to build my little nest egg in the sky. Or on earth. But, like I said, I just wanted to come and chat with you guys for a little while. I didn't really want to stay long, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still amongst the living. I appreciate your support. And it's my wash day Sunday, and I don't want to wash my hair. In a little while on Turner Classic Movies, Raising in the Sun is coming all day on today. So, I'm going to also give myself a pedicure. Yes, soak in oil. Yes, honey. Yes, I am. I am definitely going to do that today. And do something with my nails, too. Can't believe it, right? I cut them. I told you I'm going to cut them. Can't keep these long nails for too long. I don't know how people do it. A couple of weeks ago, I was somewhere in this borough of the Bronx, and I saw a young lady, I remember years ago, back in the 70s, it was really prevalent when you would see quite a few women, yeah, I'm going to say the 70s, with those long nails wrapped around, I saw a young lady with nails like that, I was like, how do they not get on your nerves, you saw how long mine were, and they were getting on my nerves, I mean, you got to watch how you pick up stuff, watch how you open up cabinets, try not to bang your nails, if your nails get wet, then um, they're so easy, they bang quickly, oh my goodness, how do you do it, why would you want to anyway, oh goodness, and they don't look, well, I can't say they don't look pretty, but it's a lot too much. But to each girl her own thing, right? That's what we say. So, like I said, this is just a little video to let you know I cut my nails, that I'm busy, working hard. I don't know how long I'm going to keep up these two job things. I'm trying to get another job. Not that I'm going to have three, but I'm trying to get another job work just one for a little while and then go right back to having two as soon as I can because why not? Well, like I said, that's it for me on a wash day. See, here everywhere. Coily coilies everywhere. And I just use a little bit of oil, I don't know if you can see, just to help me smooth out my hair. And that's it. But like I said, just here to let you guys know I'm still amongst the living. And I shall be back as soon as I can to share with you whatever it is I may need to share. See what I'm telling you? I can retain some length, but I'll probably retain more if I take care of my hair. And I'm going to start because I need to. You know, and I'm going to tell you guys about There's so many things I wanted to share with you guys, especially I mentioned to you before about a hairstyle challenge that I wanted to do, especially now since the summer's here. Then I wanted to show you guys my product stash store. Someone mentioned to me about giving some stuff away to the homeless shelter, and that's a great idea. I've never really thought of that before. I have given some stuff away, but not to 
um, a shelter. You know, I've given things away to people I knew who needed some things. But um, those are people who fell on hard times for whatever reason. But a shelter would be a great idea because those people there, the people there may need it, you know, for a good while, however. But that's a great idea, so. But I still want to share with you some of the stuff that I have only because you may need to get some of those things yourself. I don't know. But I just wanted to share with you guys. And my wash day today shouldn't be long because if you know me, I told you before I wanted to do the least amount to get the best benefit. And maybe my hair is paying for it, but I'm trying to trying to do a little bit because in a few years I'm not going to want to do anything so if it gets worse than this oh my hair is going to be in trouble <laughs> so I'm going to end this video I just wanted to say hello happy Sunday Hope you all are having one. I guess today is like my beauty day. Because like I told you, I'm going to wash my hair. And after I wash my hair, I'm going to give myself a pedicure. And then I'm going to give myself a manicure. But I'll keep you guys abreast of my nail growth. My protect... Well, my hair style. Because it's not, to me, not a protective... Um, style challenge. It's a hairstyle challenge and I'll talk to you more about that and definitely, definitely, definitely share with you some of the stuff that I have in my product store. So, I'm going to help and do my hair so I can get out of this dirty shirt because I'm dirty and I've been moving stuff and oh goodness gracious, but anyway. I'm going to end this video now. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one and Share and spread love.